Graphing System of Linear Inequalities The word system implies that we are going to graph two or more linear inequalities simultaneously. The solution to the system will be the area or region where the graphs of all linear inequalities in the system overlap. For example, we have these two graphs from a system of linear inequality. To know their solution, we have to combine these two graphs into one Cartesian plane. Okay, let's see. So, as you can see, they overlap in this area. It means that any point on this area is their solution. Now, let's have an example. Graph the following system of linear inequalities. Number one, the inequalities are y is less than or equal to x minus 1 and y plus 2x is less than 6. To graph this system of linear inequalities, we will graph them first separately. We will graph the first inequality, after that graph the second inequality, then combine the two graphs. Okay, so how will we do that? We will follow the steps, same step that we are using in graphing linear inequality. Let us start with the first equation. So in step one, always start by isolating the variable y on the left side of the inequality. So let's see the first equation is this one. y is less than or equal to x minus 1. And as you can see, y is already isolated on the left side. Therefore, step one is already done. Now let's proceed with the second step. Change the inequality to equality symbol. It means that this less than or equal to will be removed and change it with equal sign. So why do we have to do that? For us to be able to solve their intercepts so that we can graph it later on. On the step 3, graph the boundary line from step 2 in the Cartesian plane using x and y intercepts. So we will be using this equation y is equal to x minus 1 to solve for their intercepts. Let us start with x-intercept, wherein we will change the value of y into 0. Using y is equal to x minus 1, remove y and change it with 0. So it will be like this. Then after that, since we do not have any term on the left side, we have to transpose any of these two. You may transpose x or you may transpose negative 1. For example, I want to transpose the variable x. So when you transpose positive x, it will become negative x on the other side. Cancel 0, so we only have negative x equals negative 1. So the negative is still here. And then we have to leave x alone on this side. Therefore, we need to cancel the negative sign. And to do that, we just have to divide both sides by negative 1. So therefore, cancel the negative sign and negative 1 divided by negative 1 will give us positive 1. Therefore, the x-intercept of this inequality is equal to 1. Then, proceed to y-intercept by changing the value of x into 0. Same equation will be used. y is equal to x minus 1. Remove x and change it with 0 or simply cancel x. Now, we only have y equals negative 1. Since we already have the x and y-intercept, we may now graph this inequality. Let's start with x-intercept. The value is 1, so you have to graph it on the x-axis. x-axis is here, and positive 1 is here. Let us plot the point. Then the other one, y-intercept is equal to negative 1. y-intercept is here, and negative 1 is here in this area. So let's plot the point. After that, draw a line by connecting these two points. But please take note that you have to identify first if you will use dash or solid line. How will we know? So look at this. If the given inequality symbol is greater than or less than, you have to use dash line. But if the given inequality symbol is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, you have to use the solid line. So let's go back to our original inequality. And as you can see, the symbol used here is less than or equal to. Therefore, we have to use solid line in connecting these two points. So let's connect them. Okay. Now for step four, we need to identify which part of this graph must be shaded. 
So, to know which part must be shaded, you may actually use testing the origin. But, without using that, we can actually identify by looking at the inequality symbol. If the inequality symbol is greater than or greater than or equal to, you have to shade the top portion. If the symbol is less than or less than or equal to, you have to shade the bottom portion. Please take note that you can only use this pattern if you have isolated Y from the very start. Okay, like this one. So, therefore, as you can see, the symbol used here is less than or equal to. It means we have to shade the bottom portion of this graph. So, the shade will be on this part. That is for the first inequality. Now, let us proceed with the second one. For the second inequality, which is y plus 2x less than 6, we will still be following these steps. The first one is always start by isolating the variable y on the left side of the inequality. And as you can see, y is not alone. It is with positive 2x. Therefore, in step 1, we have to transpose positive 2x to the other side. So when you transpose, since it's positive, it will become negative on the other side. So we'll have y is less than, we just copied the less than symbol, negative 2x, we transpose positive 2x and it became negative, then copy positive 6. So we have y is less than negative 2x plus 6. Proceed to step 2 by changing the inequality symbol into equal sign to solve for the intercept. So just remove the, the less than symbol and change it with equal sign. Therefore, we will use this equation to find the intercepts of this inequality. So let's see. Step 3. Solve for the intercepts. X-intercept, change y into 0. Using this equation, y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. Remove y and change it with 0. After that, transpose any of these two terms. I want to transpose the term with the variable x again. So, negative 2x will become positive 2x on the other side. Then, cancel 0. We now have 2x equals 6. To solve for x, we have to cancel this 2. So, divide both sides by 2 to cancel. Then, 6 divided by 2, you will have positive 3. So the x-intercept is equal to positive 3. How about the y-intercept? Change x into 0 using the same equation y is equal to 2x plus 6. Remove x, change it with 0, or simply cancel negative 2x. Now we have y is equal to 6. So the y-intercept is equal to positive 6. Let us graph these two intercepts. For x-intercept, we have positive 3. Look at the x-axis. Positive 3 is here. Let's grab the point. Then y-intercept is positive 6. This one is the y-axis. Positive 6 is here. Let's plot the point. Then connect the line. Let's see. What are we going to use? Dashed or solid line. Look at the inequality symbol again. And it has less than. Therefore, what we have to use is the dashed line. So, dashed line is for greater than or less than. Now, let's connect these two points using dashed line. Okay. For step 4, identify the shaded part of this graph by looking again at their inequality symbol. So, the given has less than symbol. Therefore, we have to shade the bottom part. So, here is the less than symbol. It means we will shade the bottom part. Which one is the bottom part here? Of course, this one. So, let's shade this area. Okay. Now, we're done graphing the two inequalities. This is the graph of the first inequality. And this one is for second inequality. Let us now combine these two graphs in one Cartesian plane. Let us see. Okay, so as you can see, the overlapping shaded part of this graph is here. It means that all the points on this area are the solution of this system of linear inequality. To check if any point here is really a solution in this system of linear inequality, let us recheck. Choose any of this point. This point, for example, so this point has the x-coordinate of positive 2. 
and y coordinate of negative 1. So we will be using this to check if these are really the solution of this system of linear inequality. So let's just substitute it from this equation. So we'll have y less than or equal to x minus 1. Let's see. y must be negative 1. So we have negative 1 here. x must be positive 2. So positive 2 here minus 1. Then solve. Negative 1 less than or equal to 2 minus 1 will give us positive 1. Is it true that negative 1 is less than compared to positive 1? Yes, that's correct. So it means this is really solution of this linear inequality. Let's try it with the second equation. So we have y plus 2x less than 6. Okay, substitute y is negative 1 and then x is positive 2. So 2 times x, it will be times 2. Okay? then less than 6. Solve. Negative 1 plus 2 times 2 is 4. So negative 1 plus 4 will give us positive 3. So 3 then less than 6. Is it true that 3 is less than 6? Yes, that's true. It means that these are really solution of this inequality.